Where is the extra $600? It is being asked by thousands of Nevadans who were told to expect the payment this week. All right, now it's Wednesday and many have called or emailed us here at Action News saying they haven't received it yet. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez spoke to one person who is out of work and running out of money. $600 is what many people were hoping to see. Money that several families desperately need to survive this month. For George Townsend, it's been a constant struggle for the last four months. He and his wife used to be Lyft drivers. They have not received a dime in all this time. To the point to where in three days my phone is going to be cut off. Me and my wife are approximately five months behind on rent. We're five months behind on gas and utility bills. <clears throat> it's gotten to the point to where it's becoming a damper on me and my wife's relationship. He's aware of the issues that Dieter is currently facing, including the lawsuit against it. But he says that Dieter needs to do more to fix its issues and pay thousands of families including his, to stop relying on his kids to survive. And I've never seen this sort of disregard for human life, for things that we naturally do as far as with unemployment. I've, I've never filed for unemployment in my life. I've always been a working, a hardworking citizen. And I take pride in that. And it makes me feel like less of a man. Dieter has a couple of more days to make the last $600 payment. For those waiting, Townsend wants them to know they're not alone. Dieter really needs to step up to the plate and be that shoulder that people can lean on. Because it's, you know, it, it can only get worse. I mean, who's to say that in five months people aren't on the streets riding? And the reason that they're riding is because their kids are hungry. We reach out to Dieter for an update on the $600 payment. We have not received a response so far. Astrid Mendez, 13 Action News.